power, anoint us in your word. We thank you for revelation knowledge flowing. We thank you for the word of God going out unchecked or hindered by any satanic force. Thank you for a fall on good ground producing a God kind of lifestyle. Father, I thank you in advance for your people being built up and refreshed. And I'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. Everybody agree with that said? Amen. Amen. All right. Now, we're going we gonna to still dig into this, this subject of uh, the call of God on our lives and why, why did God call me uh, and how to have the best life. Amen. In other words, not just live and exist, but there should be a spirit of motivation. Amen. That if I'm in this game called life, then I want I want to be on the dominating side. Yes, I, I felt the other side, but I want to be on the side of winning. Amen. <clears throat> I participate participated in both sides. Yeah. All right, while I'm talking, you turn to Jeremiah 1, and our other pet scripture is John uh, 15, 16. Because God called us for a reason, and a purpose, and a plan. And that's where, that's where the true, true riches are. Amen. Is in God's purpose and God's plan. Yes, not in my plan. Right. Amen. And not in your plan. Amen. Amen. It's like putting the putting God first. Amen. 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 Jesus, nobody could say it better than Jesus when Jesus said, I was a father. My father. Amen. And and that is the biggest thing on my mind all the time. Am I handling your business or am I handling my business? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Uh, right. that's, that, that's what all my decisions are based on. Am I going after my wants or am I going after his wants? Amen. 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 Now, most people go after their wants. Right. Yeah. And that's why they're not fulfilled. Sure. Amen. They forget all about God and go after their own Life and the Bible calls the life that we came out of lower nature. Yes. Amen. Based on senses, yeah. what makes me feel? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. What makes me happy? Right. 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 Amen. Right. And they live a short sight life, yeah. Yeah. and that's what this age is in. Instant gratification. Amen. No planning. None. Just quick. Yes. I want to feel good today. Right. 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 Yeah. Yep. Amen. And if you're not careful, you'll get herded into that way of thinking. Sure. Amen. Amen. And there, and the Bible says is governed, and I'm gonna prove it tonight. It says it's governed. By covetous and lust. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Other words, that those are the the guardrails of it, right. and it's crowded. Yes, it is. Right. Amen. It's congested. Yeah. Amen. All right, but but the higher life, the Bible says, few find it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it's few on it. Yes. And if you don't understand that, then you will just exist. Yes. Right. No fulfillment. Right. Not operating in the true riches. Right. But just a hustle bustle mm. of nine to five, mm. seven days, after you got one day off. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. 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 Two weeks vacation. Yeah. Wow. Where, where is the plan of God that you don't toy? Right. See, you can still work, but you shouldn't be doing something you love. Right. Then it ain't work. 
If you're an artist or a clay maker or something that you really like to do and you're making money, you fulfill and you're getting paid. Amen. Like what, what I'm doing now. I did it for free. So you can could, you could imagine that I'm getting paid. With no pain now. No, when we when we was painting the church and putting up ceilings and putting them doors in and putting these speaker holders in, we didn't have nobody come in. I remember my face white from pain. And one of the saints said, I'm glad our pastor ain't like other pastors because our pastor get busy. Well, I don't want to get busy and then have to come and teach and pray. Oh, word, but they, they took that as an honor that look at our pastor. Well, it kind of like took away from the word. See, it was an ignorant state. Right. Well, somebody had to do it. And if I'm gifted to do it, no, sometimes, sometimes people feel like, well, I'm overburdened. I'm just, no, 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 no. If you got a lot of giftings, then God's going to pull on you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. See, it's how you look at it. Yes. If you work out there and rest in here, then you should get paid out there. You should, you should expect to be fruitful in God and you ain't doing nothing. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Because that's not the point, but I'm just trying to show you. You gotta you gotta you gotta understand. That if there's any lack, it's your fault. Yeah. If there in any area, love, we ain't talking about finance, we're talking about love, we're talking about peace, we're talking about joy. There's there's things that you and I have to do after we have been called. Amen. And it's and, and we left off Sunday and it's Amen. 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 See, he's given us precious promises. Yeah. Giving us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Yeah. But you gotta Amen. 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 And exercise is pushing pressure. Yes. Yes. Amen. So uh -huh. true. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank now, he's telling us to exercise. If I didn't have a muscle, then it would be unfair for him to tell me to exercise I don't have. Right. Yeah, you know right. Amen. So I must have all those ingredients. The capabilities that I add to the precious promises. But I gotta exercise. Amen. I can't just come to the gym. Right. Yeah. You ever see people just go to the gym? Yes. Everybody know me. Hey, man. Hey, hey. But you don't never see them. Exercise. Not at all. Clock in and clock out. Come to church, go home. But you ain't exercise, and, and and it shows. And we we exercise the muscles we like. So you can have big biceps and skinny legs. You can have a nice shout, but no patience. So you 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 could have the things you like to exercise and be short sighted on the things that, that are supposed to bring the precious promises out that they're making through. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. Look at look at Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1 and 4. I don't want to make you mad, but let's do this. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Jeremiah, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I separated and set 
set you apart, consecrated you, and I appointed you as, as, a, as a prophet to the nations. Then said I, O oh Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Say not that I am only a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Be not afraid of them, neither their faces, for I am with you to deliver you. Now here, here's the call. And I believe, I believe it's not a unique call. Amen. I believe, I believe we all have the same kind of call. In other words, God has a plan for you yes. that maneuvered you through life to this point. Amen. And that's going to maneuver you the rest through life Amen. to the other points. Yes. Amen. Amen. But you got to understand that what we call luck, chance, yes. that almost happened, this almost happened. Right. No, it was a call. Yes. It was a chosen. Yes. Amen. You didn't marry that person, or you didn't go get pregnant by this person. You got yeah. pregnant by it, whatever. All right, but I believe, I believe it was it was destiny. I believe it wasn't it wasn't chance. I believe it was purpose. Now, if I really believe God called me and chose me, then I could rest. Amen. Amen. Go to John. You should be at John 15, 16. It says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Yeah. This brings comfort to me. I don't know if it brings comfort to you. It, it, it makes it so that I don't have to worry about anything. anything. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Yeah. I've never lost. Never. Yeah. never. Just think about it. Forty some years of doing this, yeah. right. never lost. Amen. Now I've been in some in some serious battles, right. 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 but looking back, all been buttoned up, all been taken care, never lost. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yeah. How you never? No, I never lost. Never but lost. I have chosen you, my Lord, and have appointed you. I have planted you, that you might go and bear fruit, keep on bearing, and that your fruit may last, be last, that it may remain abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, as presenting all that I am, he may give it to you. And, and he has. He has given me. Amen. He has given me everything. Amen. Amen. Everything. And has given you everything. Amen. Amen. Now, go to, go to 2 Peter. I figure if I just give you the word, then we could just. But you got work now. Look at first, Second Peter, one and three. You there? Come watch this. Most Christians are praying for stuff they already have. Already. See, they're waiting on something to happen that already happened. Yep. All right. Watch this. It says, for his divine power, whose divine power? God's divine power has bestowed upon us all things that are suited. And I, I like it out of the, um, King James. It says, all things that pertain to life in God. Amen. Through the full personal knowledge of him who has called us by and to his own glory and excellence or virtue. By means of thee, he has bestowed upon us. In other words, we already got it. This precious and exceedingly great promise that through them you may escape by flight from moral decay, rottenness, and corruption that is in the world because of what? Covenant. Lust and what? And become sheer what? Okay, so there must be another nature. Amen. There must be another nature. There must be another way to do it. Right. Now, it says he has bestowed upon us the precious promise. So I got precious promise. Amen. You got precious promise. Now, I didn't work for him. You didn't work for him. That's right. 
Now, if it was obvious, he wouldn't have to tell us. Yeah, right. 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 So, so I can have something and not know it. Right. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. So I can be praying for better. Yes. And I have all things that pertain to life and God. I got everything I need. Yes. According yes. to this. Yes. According to this, He has bestowed upon me. So that means I got it. Now you try to reach it or validate it by your senses. That's where faith comes in. If I'm going to feel it, it's going to be by faith. Amen. Amen. The sixth sense. Which is faith. Which is the thing I'm supposed to live by. So I don't need the other five to know I have the precious promises. Amen. Right? Because you would say, if I had it, I could smell it, or I would see it, or I would hear it, or I would feel it, or I would taste it to say that I have Six cents says I have That's why I know you can't do nothing to me. Amen. By the six cents. That's right. Amen. That's why I know I can't be stopped by the six cents. Yes. Now the word of God is trying to convince you that you can't be stopped. Amen. But you gotta you gotta hear it and do it. Amen. Go to John 2. I ain't going to get into all this right here. Because it's, it's an exercise. We did that Sunday. We might get to it later. Is that okay? Yeah. But go to John 2. Glory to God. Oh, you got to believe this. Or you are you going to be intimidated. Amen. And I've been there. I've been afraid. Of the unknown. Amen. What lurks in the shack? Yeah. No, a shadow will have you run into a wall. Amen. You can open a door and see your own reflection. I've done it. Years ago with Son, Son of Sam. When we lived in Brookside. And Son of... Google it if you want to know. You don't want to know. Years ago. He's killing people. And, and Brookside was all wooded. Dark, like right. country atmosphere. Amen. But you open that, that storm door, you get a reflection, yeah. and you you'll run. Yeah. You'll see your own reflection. I, I've done it. See my own reflection. <laughs> Come on, when you're scary. Now I know what y'all are tough and macho, so you don't know what people like me say. I ain't, I ain't scared of nothing. Okay, okay, tough guy. You ain't met the right one yet. That's all. That's all. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Let's venture on. No, because because you want you gonna have to uh, do this stuff by hearing. Amen. See, you waiting to experience it to believe. Right. See, you won't make changes till you experience it. Amen. You gotta believe it, yes, sir, and make adjustments. Amen. 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 So you wait to experience it, then you're gonna change. Right. Right. You gotta believe it, yes, and then you'll experience it. Amen. Amen. So you gotta change inwardly first. Amen. You got to see yourself doing it, having it, being it, yes. involved in it. You got to see a picture of you yeah. in your heart's desire. Yes. Amen. Because most most folk don't think they deserve it. Right. That's true. 
based on their sins that they've been delivered from. Amen. So true. Amen. So you think you're still a sinner because you, you want to sin. Right. And you might sin. Right. So you think you're a sinner. Right. But when you was doing nice things for people and, and club hopping, yeah. doing nice things for people didn't make you a saint. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Sometimes you need a little back. <laughs> okay, but look, look, look. Cause 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 at that wedding, at that wedding, when Jesus and Mary went to that wedding, again. Mary said some very important words. Yes. Now we look at the wedding and everything, but she said some very important words. And look at verse 5. Because they, they had a little shortage of wine. But Jesus and them wasn't ready to leave yet. You know how it is. You pay that cover charge, you ain't ready. All right, all right. All right. So, so Mary, Mary, Mary said to the servant, whatever he says to you to do, what she said? Do, do, do that. Do Amen. Don't, just, don't just listen to what he said. See, whatever, now remember, Jesus was the word with legs. Amen. He was God manifested in the flesh. Yes. So what she was saying is whatever the word tells you to do, Amen. you do that. Amen. And that's the hardest thing to get people to do yes. is what the word says. Right. They'll take religion yep. over the word. Yep. They'll, they'll say stuff like, well, I ain't never heard that before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, just because you ain't heard it don't mean right. it ain't true. Right. There's a lot of things I ain't heard. Right. A, lot of a, a lot of things I haven't experienced. That don't mean it don't exist. That's right. Amen. A lot of things I haven't done. That don't mean I can't do it. Right. Amen. Just because I ain't did it don't mean I can't do it. Right. Just because I don't have it in manifestation don't mean it ain't mine. Right. This was the, if, if God want me to have it, he can give it to me. He's already given it to you. Yes, he did. Amen. It's up to you to do what? Receive it. And how do I receive it? By faith. Amen. Amen. Then it'll manifest into the five or, or the three dimensions. Right. But I gotta receive it. Amen. It's never on the giver. Never. God gave you his back. He's already given it to you. You gotta receive it. He's already threw the ball. You gotta receive it. Yeah. Amen. You gotta learn how to receive. Some of you have been beat down so much, you don't think you deserve anything. Right, right, right. Amen. You don't think you worth it. No, God wants to expose you to more. Yes, yes. But if you're a hater, I would never spend that kind of money on a car. You're a hater. Yes. No, you can go to some restaurant and get a good burger. Or you can stick with Mickey D's. Right. Both of them are burgers. Right. Well, I wouldn't pay that much for a burger. Well, you won't, you ain't have one. No, you go places that the burger don't hide. Amen. Come on. You get a good burger, you got to cut it in half. That's how you know you got a good one. You got to cut it in half. Amen. But if, but if you ain't been exposed, yeah. right. 
Amen. Then you'll say, I would never pay $30 for a burger. But what, can, what, what does it matter to you if you're rich? If you're not counting pennies no more. I see people all the time. I would never do that. I would never do that. But you, you, they'll leave it, and their kids will go through it all. Yeah. They'll drive what you should have been driving. Yeah. Right. They'll live where you should have been living. Amen. Amen. That's true. So why put it aside? Wow. It's a, it's, it's, hear me. It's good to leave in the heritage, That's to your right. children, children, all that. Great. Right. But you should never deprive you. Right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen, Amen. Amen. Right. You gonna ride a clunker because you don't want to run out of money. Right. Amen. Somebody gonna get it. Amen. Somebody gonna somebody gonna get it. Okay, never mind. Somebody gonna get it. Somebody gonna get it. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm I'm live a long life and I'm gonna do this and do that. No, and you get to the point where where you might need medical. Yeah. And they're going to look at your bank account. Uh -huh. And they're going to say, you got to get rid of that before we help you. And you're going to boo-hoo. You're going to sell the house. You're going to sell everything. Why now, you're in a place where you can walk in divine help. Oh, but you can start working your faith now. Amen. Amen. Over, over, over. You, you, you said the terms. Yes. Right. No. See that that they'll tell you how to die if you're not careful. Yes. Yeah. They'll set you up. They'll set you up. Uh, where you sick conscious. Amen. That's true. Come on now. Amen. And you stop living. You're just so cautious. Oh, yeah. 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 I might have it. I might have it. I might have it. Whole conversation. Mm -hmm. My whole conversation. Let me get up from here. My ankles just swole up. <laughs> that whole conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So true. Right. Whatever. This is Mary. Mary said. Whatever he tells you to do, do that. Amen. Amen. Do whatever he tells you. Jesus said, bring the pots. Look what he said. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. So they filled them up to the brink. What a thing to tell them to do. We'd have said that the package store still open. Yeah. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. That's right. We told you last time. You don't make grapes of wine out of water. Then it was the better stuff. See, it's another level. Yes, it is. It's another. You, 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 if you're struggling, you're missing it. Amen. Okay. Okay. No, Pastor, I, 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 I hear what you say. No, 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 no. You, I didn't start enjoying when I was enjoying. Right. right. Okay. I, I started enjoying when I had to choose to enjoy. Amen. That's right. Amen. You understand? I enjoyed right there. Yeah. I took what I had there and worked. Right. Amen. 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 We couldn't go to Dairy Queen. Right. We was too broke to go to Dairy Queen. Right. Right. So we had Sundays at home. Amen. Right there. Amen. I couldn't pay for everybody to go to movies. Right. So we went to Blockbuster. Right. Got some popcorn. Yeah. Say right there. Right. Right there. See, you, you waiting to get over there to start. No. You you got to take what's in your hand. Right. You got no. You got to change the atmosphere right there. Amen. 
That's your practice ground. No, we had a comedy club at our house. We couldn't go nowhere to see comedians. Right. We created comedians. <laughs> Amen. Everybody in there cracking jokes. They still jokes just today because that was our entertainment. Yes. Right. Right, Pastor. Yeah. So you stuck because you ain't getting created. Right. right. Amen. Right, Pastor. Wow. Whatever he tell you. To do, to do it. Like, whatever the Spirit of God is telling you tonight, offer of this, do it. Amen. 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Look all around. Like he told Moses, what's that in your hand? I'm smothering. Here comes Pharaoh. I see the dust of the horses. What's in your hand? Life is hard. I'm tired. I don't know how much I'm, I can do. You, you set the atmosphere. That's right. You can be down. I can be down every day. Yes. Every, I can, every day I had an opportunity to be down. Every day I had an opportunity to be unhappy. Right. Right. Every single day. I choose not to. Amen. That's right. Amen. I choose not to. Right. Right. I remember hard. This ain't hard. Right. right. I remember all. I remember wanting to and couldn't. Right. Amen. You stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Just working, 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 and nothing left over. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Working hard. Amen. Well, I mean, I was going. Right. You know, I didn't work hard, but I went. <laughs> Hang on, my. Hell yeah. I started off and everybody told me to slow down. Right. right. When you first get hired, you be going. And the, the older dude come up, slow down, man. You eat it up. That's right. Save something for the weekend. Uh, oh, when I got that groove they gave me. Right. Hell right. yeah. Now, now, because, because when God tells you to do something, it's outside the box. Yes. And what I mean by that, it won't make sense to you. Instead of crying, God tell you to laugh. Amen. That's right. That's right. Wow. That's right. Instead of getting even, you just say, let it go. Let it go. Amen. That's right. Well, they act like they don't even owe me no money. And he'll say, let it go. 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 I'm just going to let them know. They, then you try to compromise with God. I, I I'm just going to let them know they ain't playing me. He don't want you to let them know nothing. Let them think they're playing. All of a sudden, you're invisible. They walk by you with a whole lunch. They owe you them $3. You calculate it. They got a banana. They got a sandwich. They got some chips. They got a cookie. You you calculate, you see your $3 on their track. Eat you up. Amen. They just don't know what they're playing with. They're going to let them say it. Water baptized. Instead of, I bought you for $3. That's a bargain. I would have gave you 30. Amen. I would have gave you 300. I would have lent you 3,000. I bought, bought you for three, $3. That's a, That's a bar. Now I know your heart. You expose yourself at a low low level of cheapness. No, because you, can, you, can, you know people by their giving. You know people by their taking. You can't see the root in them. Yeah. But the fruit they produce. Yeah. You know they are. Yeah. I know every time I make somebody mad, they stop giving them. I piss them off, they, that's it. Then I say something like they back in. And, and it's fine. But what I'm trying to show you, if if you understand. That, that, that Jesus said you will know them 
by their characteristics. Yes. 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 See, not what they say is what they do. Amen. No, you can't tell me you love the Lord and you don't come to church. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me. You're too tired. But you do everything else. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, flea market. Now it's time to go to church, you're tired. Come on, Cat, am I preaching? Now, yeah, now, you come, now you come to church, you're tired. You got Monday, Tuesday, right. Thursday, Friday, right. Right. Saturday, Saturday yeah. to go to flea market. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'll watch it on TV yeah. until you need a blessing. Yeah. God said, go to channel 21. Okay. Get your blessing. Yeah. Go to your job and get a blessing. No, you don't love the Lord if you can't give him no time. Right. Amen. No, if sister time never wanted to be with me, she don't love me. Right. Yeah. She just show up on payday. Right. Right. Baby, I baked your cake. <laughs> I got them Flintstone rebuy. Uh, what are they call them? Them steaks. Ribeyes. I got. got it's only on Thursday. Right. The eyes on the stove. Uh -huh. <laughs> she don't love me. Wow. Oh, she loved me when she won't be with me. Amen. I know, I know you'd be tired, but you got five days to rest. Absolutely. No, you got press. You gotta exercise. You gotta prioritize. You gotta put things in order. That's it. See, what are you doing with what you got? Where you at right now? What are you doing? Are, are you just you just got your Barbie dolls and everything just laid there and talking about you ain't got nothing to play with? Or are you running around with the Martha spirit? Worry about other people's stuff. So Jesus had to straighten her out. She tried to throw Mary under the bus. She said, I'm in here taking care of you cooking and stuff and 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 all 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 Mary doing is at your feet. And Jesus had to straighten her out. He said, Mary chose the best. The best. Amen. This, see, this is the best. I don't look like the least, but it's the best. It said, once you get a hold of the word of God, it, it becomes big. Yeah. Tremendous in your life. Amen. All kind of shade. But it says, it, it looks like the smallest thing. But when you start operating it, it becomes big. True. It, it will become that next gear in your life. Amen. When everybody else quits, you'll have that other gear. When other folk don't know what to do, you'll have that other gear. That's why Jesus would say some stuff like, don't worry about what to say when the circumstance comes. He said, in that hour, I'll give you what to say. Yes, Amen. And he will be and already spoke to your adversary. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through a dream, yes. through an experience. Yes. So when you say it, yes, he'll know that nobody knew about this. Amen. No, you come in sometimes and I say something. That you got hit. That you ain't told nobody. And I just skim over it because I don't know what I'm talking about. Until you shake. If you don't move, then I don't know I hit you. Right. 
said, no, don't worry what you got to say. Right. He said, in and out. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you what to say. Absolutely. That's true. You just hear this and say it. That's yes. true. Amen. And that that that'll be where your raise is. That'll be where your promotion. That'll be where they'll create a job for you. That that'll be where you'll get somebody's attention. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That'll be that'll be where they'll take you from the backside of the mountain to expose you. Amen. He hide you. Yeah. David did not look like a king. He was a sheep herder. Right. Amen. They ran all his brothers in front of the prophet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Didn't even call David. He's still out there shepherding. Yeah. Amen. And happy doing it. But he didn't know he was going to shepherd people. Right. So the prophet said, don't you got another son? That's the one. That's the one. Thank you, Lord. Didn't look nothing like a king. Amen. Leadership. But God had ordained it so. See, you can't even mess up your life. You might stumble off course, but you will stumble back on course. You can't, you can't mess it up. You have to deny and fight. Amen. Right, Pastor. That's why you got some winos that can preach. They, they tell you more about the word of God than some preachers. That wisdom just flow out. Because they're still preaching it. Yeah, they're still, they, it's still in them. They're very convincing. I messed up. You don't have to mess up, my boy. You can just do this, blah, blah, blah. Don't come here. Because they're still gifted. You got you got some drunks that can out sing the best singers. Because they was gifted. They get high and they just take it to another level. Because the gifts of God, He don't take them away. But that, but that, that's where you, you're rich at when you're operating and you're calling. Yes. Right. And that don't mean here. It don't mean up here calling. You, you could be the best parent. You could be the best husband. You could be. It doesn't mean this. It means wherever you operate. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's where your favor is. Yes. Yes. Amen. No, you got, you got folk that came from bad situations. And they create bad situations. Right. 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 Instead of learning from them. Right. They'll tell you about their parent. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you be like, well, that's kind of like you. Right. Yeah. No, if you look at them, if you look at them, it'll be like, that's kind of like you. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Okay. What they saying, see, I know it's going to get quiet. Oh, that's all right. No. What they saying, they doing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. My mother used to snatch me by the arm, and you see him with their kid. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Right. True story. We used to get cussed out as kids, and you see them cussing their kid out. Yeah. Okay, let's just stick with you. Let's just stick with you. Whatever he tell you to do, do it. All right, now, got one more I want to go to. Go to. Second Peter. We 
we go back to Second Peter. Go back to Second Peter. No, 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 no. Right? Why you at you at John? Yeah. Go to John six. Come on, I know y'all ain't doing that to your kids. So come on, look at me. I ain't talking about you. I ain't seen you. Nobody told me. All right, let's just let's just, let's just move on. Let's turn the page. Praise the Lord. Get so touchy and sticky. All right, but look, look, look. Because remember, Mary said, whatever he tell you to do, do it. Now, remember, God is always going to tell you something that to you is hard. All right? But to him, it's planned. Yeah. Now, it's hard because you don't want to do it. Right. <laughs> All right? It, it's hard because you don't want to do it. Yeah, don't want to. But it becomes easy when you do it because it's planned. Yes. Do you understand? God tells me to do hard stuff. To me, it's hard. Yes. I don't want to bless somebody that don't like me. Right. Yeah. Amen. I want to bless people that like me. Okay. I don't, I don't want to bless nobody that don't appreciate me. Right. You don't even appreciate it when you do it. But they tell me to do it. Yeah. Without yeah. no thank you. Right. None of that. Okay. And the way they way the way they cut out thank you is you don't have to do this. Yeah. That, that, that kills the thank you. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to do it. Right. And then they take it, but they don't say thank you. Amen. Because they don't appreciate it. Because they're used to taking it. Yeah. Or manipulate. Amen. So when you give it to them, it throws them off. Yeah. See, they don't have to con you out. Keep looking straight, then we can just keep teaching. No, because because they they used to conning you out or manipulating you out. So when you just bless them, oh you ain't have to do that. Because in their gut, they're saying, I would have got it from you anyway. My way. My turn. Because you might tell somebody you bless it. And I have already told them you ain't no good. So it pulls the cover off of their being a victim. Nobody don't call me. Nobody come by and see me. Nobody. Well, I thought you said they don't bless you. They told me they did. Uh -huh. All right. All right. No, 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 no. That's okay. Because watch this. He's going to tell you to do something so that the supernatural yes. ability of God could kick in. Yes. Amen. Watch this. Look in, look in uh, John 6, verse 1. It says, after this, Jesus went to the uh, farther side of the Sea of Galilee. That is the Sea of Tigris. And a great crowd was following him because they had seen the signs, the miracles, which he continued performing upon those who were sick. And Jesus walked up to the mountainside and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was approaching. Jesus looked up, looked up then, and seeing that vast multitude was coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that, said, so that all these people may eat? But he said this to do what? <laughs> to prove him, test him, for he well knew. Check it out. Check it out. He threw it out there, but it was pre planned. Pre -planned. Yes, it was. Amen, Amen. He asked him a question and knew the answer. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. No, it says he already knew what he was going to do. Right. So, so what he came up with, what, what the disciple came up with, Jesus didn't need it. Because right. he already knew right. what he was going to do. So he wasn't shooting for answers. Amen. Amen. 
So the test was to the disciple. Amen. Yes. See, God will ask you something you already know. What stupidity is going to come out of our mouths? Amen. I got to get another job. I ain't got enough money. Right. No, he already knew what he was going to do. Amen. Verse 7. Philip answered him, 200 pieces, $40 worth of bread is not enough that everyone may receive even a little. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there's a little boy here who has with them five barley loaves and two small fish, but what are they among so many? They're talking 5,000 people, not counting uh, women and children. He just said the men were counting, 5,000 men, but they had families. So we got over 5,000 people. And we got few fish and few loaves of bread. He said, there, there's a little boy here. And I, I believe he's being sarcastic. We got 5,000, not counting the women and the children. And we got a few loaves of bread and some couple pieces of fish. We got a box of cabinets. That's like we, we had dining hall. We said, okay, we're going to... We gonna, we're going to do Bible study over there. Don't eat. Come over there. And you come over there and we got a box of fish. <laughs> and a side order fry. <laughs> and then, then, then we tell you, go sit down. We're going to bless it. <laughs> and the board going to pass it out. <laughs> Automatically, you're going to come with a first attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Am I sitting at, at the wrong table? Because by the time it get to me, now you, you got to understand. You got 5,000 sitting on the grass. And a, and a little boy's lunch. You know they was talking. <laughs> See, we looking back at it. Uh -huh. That's like that's like that's like somebody's birthday tonight, and we bring in. We say we're gonna we're gonna have cake, and we bring in uh, a, a couple of Twinkies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And we put it, we set it up, we say, don't leave. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're going to stay over later, and we're going to uh -huh. cut this up. <laughs> See, we're looking at this, and we're saying, wow, what a miracle. Yeah. But they had to sit down. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, remember, remember, the word knew what he was going to do. Right. Yeah. That is where your confidence has to be. Yeah. Amen. 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 See, the disciples were thinking in the natural. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got $40 here. Right. Yeah. And a little lunch. Right. 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 What is that among so many? Amen. Amen. See, you're looking at all your bills. Right. And you might be holding your tie. What is that among so many bills? Right. Uh -huh. right. yeah. See, so you're thinking, thinking short-sighted. Right. You're thinking now. You're not thinking growth. Right. You're not thinking interest on your giving. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You think about what you got in your hand. Yeah. It ain't enough. What is this little bit? Got to do with this whole lot. Right. You're a teacher, 
No, Jesus said, gave them some instructions, sit them down. In fifties. Gave this fish, gave the bread to the disciples, broke it. Blessed. Told them to start passing it out. Now watch what happened. Watch what happened. Watch what happened. Jesus said, verse 10, make all the people recline, sit down. Now on the ground, a pasture was covered with thick grass at the spot. So the men threw themselves down, about 5,000 in number. Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to the reclining people. So also he did with the fish, so as much as they Needed. No. Wanted. What is that? Wanted. 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 So when they got something, they he's like, can I get another big fish? Amen. 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 Can I get an extra piece of fish? That's yeah. right. That's right. And they say, as much as they need it. That's true. Wow. So can I get that catfish? Amen. <laughs> you got any porpoise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me swordfish? Come on. Can I get another piece? It says as much as what? Yeah. And God will give you as much as you want. Amen. Yeah, he will. As much as you want. Amen. He's a God of excess. Yes, he is. The God of more than enough. He don't want you just working there. He wants you owning it. Amen. 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 So true. But he'll give as much as you want. Thank you, Lord. People think they're humble by saying, well, I don't want to ask for too much, but Lord, could you just do this for me? Mm -hmm. Wrong attitude. Wrong attitude. Wrong attitude. Yes. He gave them as much as they want. So true. How much do you want? Amen. How much are you willing to stand for? Right. Right. Amen. How resilient can you be? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Stop changing your mind. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's it, right there. Stop canceling your order. Amen. Amen. Stay with it. Stay, stay with what you believe God for. Stay with it. Yes, I don't care if everything around you moves. God ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Amen. I don't care how many people tell you it ain't working. It ain't, that ain't going to work. I ain't never seen that before. Well, just stick around. Just stick around. Yes. Amen. I ain't never, I ain't never, I, I ain't never seen a baseball game where the team is getting blowed out in the third, third, third inning, and they just leave. <laughs> just quit it. Oh, we can't come back. Right. Wow. No, they know. They know the game ain't over. That's right. And that's the attitude you gotta have. Amen. I don't care what the score is right now. That's right. The game ain't Amen. over. Amen. You understand that? Yeah. You ain't even got to the seven in his stretch. Right. Amen. It ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over. Thank you, Lord. My first, second, third inning, my head was dropped. Amen. But I kept coming out. Yes. Coming out. Yes. That's right. That's right. I kept coming out. Amen. The word said I win. Right. I kept coming out. Yes. I did what he told me to do. That's all. That's all I can do. And 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 it would be great if I did everything he told. Me. I did the best I could. Amen. 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 Well, what I had, I was treading water. I had craziness on me. No. I had fear on me. Yeah. I had worry on me. I had broke on me. Yeah. And I'm just treading. Oh, but I kept confessing. Amen. I kept believing and treading. Yeah. 
Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I did. Thank you, Sometimes you got to kick the sneakers off. No, you in the ocean and stuff. You got stripped. That stuff getting heavy. Amen. When Jesus came out, I was butt naked. I didn't strip that thing. I got rid of friends, got rid of uh, uh, kinfolk, got rid of. Hey, look, everything I was worried about. No, but it get heavy after a while. After a while, you gotta just take it all off. Caring about other people that don't care about themselves. I mean, just just craziness. Because remember, you've been programmed. Yes. Right. Unaware. Unaware. Amen. From zero to five, you was programmed. Yeah. You were ready for life after five. That's right. Wow. That's right. You were headed somewhere. Somewhere. You yeah. that. You were choosing your mate, everything. Wow. What kind of women you like, what kind of men you like, you had that in you at five. Yeah. Wow. Wow. If mama was angry, you was looking for an angry wife. If daddy was street, you was heading to the streets. Wow. It was programmed. Wow. The word of God, Jesus came to undo the works. Wow. Yes, sir. Amen. My father was a street person. No program. I don't have no appetite for the streets. Amen. I saw what not to do. Yeah. A field trip for us is my father would take us to the bar. Right in that dark wood floor bar. To crap games. As a kid. That was a field trip. That's what I was exposed to. That 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 was my my time with dad. Picnics with his girlfriend. So he taught me what not to do. Amen. What not to do. 